energy on the volleyball court this morning was exhilarating. Crowds cheered on the athletes who could hardly contain their excitement after winning their final game at the 2014 Special Olympics USA Games. I just feel amazing. We did this. This is like the best thing I have ever done, and I love my team dearly. It doesn't get any better to see these young people come together and play as a team. Both Team Wisconsin and Team Illinois won the gold for their divisions. I'm bringing the championship home to Chicago, Illinois. This morning, 10 teams from five different divisions have been fighting for the gold. Behind me, Team Connecticut and Team Rhode Island are competing for the championship. And so far, Rhode Island is undefeated. After the game, state pride radiated throughout the theater. As Team Rhode Island Division I Unified went undefeated and was awarded the gold. The medal ceremony marked the culmination of nearly a year's worth of countless practice hours and sacrifice. These athletes were determined to compete. This was their moment. Some humbly bowed to their fans, others kissed their medal. Many excitedly threw their arms in the air. As for the Garden State's athletes, I'm with Team New Jersey Division Three Volleyball and they just brought home the gold! Yeah! Their excitement was contagious. It makes me feel very proud and excited for all my teammates just to win the gold for me. It feels great to bring home the gold medal or stay here and have the gold medal. It makes me proud because all the work we do, people that are handicapped cannot do anything, but we can do anything we put our mind to. It's just, you know, not about handicap, it's about being smart. Handicapped people are number one. Tell me, how long are you going to have that gold medal around your neck? Forever. Yeah. God bless America and God bless New Jersey. Team New Jersey celebrating tonight. Act like a team and most likely until the next Special Olympics USA Games. In Lawrence Township, I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.